Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-December 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This is a general reading, not a personal reading, so please keep that in mind. It may resonate, it may not. Regardless, only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. Hi, cross watchers. You're more than welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Cancer and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So I wonder, Cancer, is this someone you recently met who's just caught your eye? Did you meet at like a holiday party, out and about, going out with friends? I mean, there's someone, Cancer, who has their eye on you. And you know what? Here's two energies coming in. So obviously there's an X and there's an X here that both have your eye their eye on you, Cancer, because I don't think this energy is the same as this new love, but this is the why you had to go to new love. I took you for granted. I'm so sorry. This is the person who's now watching you move on. Two new options, two new love romances, two new situations. Maybe they found out that you're talking to someone and they're devastated because they thought you were going to hang on for a little bit longer. But that's the thing. People always think cancers are going to wait because... We're nostalgic, speaking as a Cancer Sun. We're nostalgic, we tend to see the best in people, but after time and time again, if you use us, take us for granted, and we don't see improvement or change, period, it's over. So Cancer, I wonder if someone from your past is now trying to hold you back, um, trying to make you feel bad for moving on, but you absolutely shouldn't because I've been feeling a lot of positive vibes around this new love. And maybe some of you are kind of questioning if you should move on. Absolutely. I, I know that may not be what everyone wants to hear, but whoever this is, they played you too much for too long. So if there is someone that you're crushing on or if there are people that are around you that want to get to know you more, but you've been kind of like, what if it works out with this person? I think this person had their chance, Cancer, and that's what Spirit wants to come forward and say, that you deserve new love of people who are going to text you back, call you back, are not going to leave you hanging, leave you in the dark, and expect you to always be there. And so I feel that if there is a new person in your life, that's the person to pay attention to, Cancer. And I think this new love is something that's getting you really excited. If you haven't met them yet, I think you're going to meet them very soon in the upcoming weeks, for sure. New love for 2023. I feel that for you guys. So let's see. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. This is how someone feels about you. I really want to focus on this new love here because I really just think this card is just, just the backstory of why you had to move on. But with this new love that I feel a lot of you have met already, but if not, this is what you can expect. They're excited from the moment they got your number. They're excited from the first date you guys go on. And they think and feel like there's more to this that can just grow. They find you to be very exciting. They find you to be very attractive. They find you to be someone that is fun to be around, a bit spontaneous, adventurous. You like to keep doing new things. You like to keep yourself busy and entertained. And that's something that they're very curious about. But after the first date, after the first kiss even, they feel something very special about you, Cancer. Someone could knit or sew as a hobby. Or maybe learning how to knit or sew. Whew, three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, Cancer. Whatever this put, person put you through, you came back and bounced back 10 times stronger for it, I have to say. Because with the Three of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, someone sees you as having it all, being everything that they wanted. You look good. They love the way you dress. They love the way you put yourself together, the way you do your makeup, your hair, the perfume, the cologne you wear. I mean, you're their type to the T. And maybe the T means something to you guys. As in Tyler, as in Trisha, first, middle, last, initial can mean something to someone. I'm going to go ahead and get all the cards out, and then I'll show you guys. But this is exciting, Cancer. I'm 
pumped for you guys because the last reading was about leaving it all behind and here's what happens when you start to let go of old energy that has been stifling you and holding you back. It creates space for new, positive, beautiful energies to come in. All right. Okay, Cancer. So bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. This is Libra energy. You could have strong Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with the Libra. It does not have to be the case, but this is giving me the backup for sure. I wonder if some of you guys were in a conflict within yourself about two people, two options, two situations, or even if this energy has been dead for a while, it's finally being ready to shake this off and let it go for good so you can move into a new mindset. I do feel cancer that you've been breaking out of staying stuck within certain patterns and certain cycles with the repetitive people that are one trick ponies. And you're like, you know what? They keep on trying to convince me that there's something I'm not seeing here. They keep on trying to convince me that I'm not getting everything and that I need to wait. I think cancer, you made a decision finally and that decision served you. And maybe it had to be cutting off communication with someone that you had high hopes for once upon a time. Maybe it was blocking someone on social media, someone's phone number. And I think by making that decision, it's opened this new way for this new love to come in, which spirit is already showing me has a lot of potential here. So let's get in it. How they feel about you is the wheel of fortune. Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy for me as a reader, they're excited. They're excited maybe that you guys are setting up your first date that you're going on another date with this person. They're excited about everything that they've gotten to know you about with the conversations you had, with who you are, what you like to do. It's everything that they are in sync with. It's everything that they vibe with. And they feel that already, even within the first few dates, the first few weeks of meeting you, there's something that can grow from this. And I do feel with this Wheel of Fortune energy, They've been calling their friends, their family members, telling them about you, saying, I've met someone and it feels good. It feels right. They were this way. This is their favorite movie, their favorite color. This is where they grew up. And it's like they can't stop talking about you now, Cancer. Maybe for some of you, you'll meet through friends. You'll meet through a specific network, an event, a party, a situation where it's around a group of people, but you two catch each other's eyes. And it's for a reason. And I do feel cancer if you were at the bottom of the wheel, dealing with people who were just inconsistent, who kept on trying to convince you of one thing when you were seeing clearly the evidence of another, this new love is breaking you out of that cycle. Because what they think of you is the three of wands. Aries energy. So with the three of ones, they think that there's more to happen. There's more to come from this. And they have ideas of what dates they want to take you on next. Like to the movie theaters, to miniature golf, to the beach. They want to try it all with you, Cancer. They have ideas about maybe even you guys going on a small trip together like a camping trip or getting an Airbnb or even a hotel for somewhere that's like right in the city or in a couple hours drive. They see this going somewhere with you, Cancer, already. And there's a lot of passion they have for you. And everything they imagine of what they want to do at taking you out on dates, they imagine in the bedroom as well. I'll just leave it at that as this is YouTube, but they uh, have been thinking a lot about what you would be like in bed, and they're excited to find out. But let me make it clear. This is not just someone who thinks you're just for a weekend, a hit or quit. Definitely not. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune here, they see promise in this going further. With the Three of Wands, I wonder if you already have like a setup for some sort of weekend event or weekend date that they're telling everyone about, that they're trying to find the right outfit for. They really do want to impress you, Cancer. What they like the most about you is the Nine of Wands. 
Virgo energy. So like I said, for a lot of you, they like your style. They like the what you wear, how you do your hair. They find you to be financially independent. I wonder if some of you have your own businesses or you are doing very well in your job and your career. You're holding it down. You live on your own. You pay all the bills. And even if some of you are still working on that financial security, that is a goal of yours that they find to be admirable. You're not someone who dates another person just for money. You are someone that can handle your own. You're not dependent on anyone to make you feel a type of way or to make you feel appreciated or honored. You give that to yourself and maybe it had to go through dealing with someone that took you for granted cancer. I mean, you're a hot commodity right now for sure. And I think your ex is kind of really kicking themselves because they see your glow up. They see your bounce back. And they get jealous. They get mad. But let them be. Let them eat cake, as they say. Because, Cancer, I, I just feel for you now, it's best to be in this new vibe, in this single energy. And if things start to get good, then you can start to consider coming out of the single life. But for now, I think it's best to explore this new love and see where it'll take you. Because you are grounded now. You're level-headed. I think before where maybe you started to really like someone, you started already envision the next six months ahead. But from learning about that person who just broke your heart or took you for granted, you want to take it day by day. And I think that's a good way to go about it. This person sees you're someone to take seriously. Now, what they don't like about you is the King of Swords. This is Aquarius energy. And I wonder about this, Cancer, if you have been a little bit guarded at times. I wonder if there's something they wanted to ask you about, whether it was a past, whether it was your last relationship that you didn't want to talk about, that you closed up a little bit about. And if this is the X energy that wants to come in because they're kind of insistent about it, um, you have been pretty cold with them. You've been very blunt with them, detached, and that's something they're not used to with you. They think you've been avoiding them. They think you've been cutting them out. But if this is the new love, yeah, there is a sterner side to you. There is a side that maybe it takes some time to get to know. Someone could find you to be a little bit sarcastic. But I also find that maybe your intelligence is a little bit intimidating, Cancer. I think that you guys are very well-read, well-versed. You know what you're talking about. And maybe they get intimidated in having certain conversations with you when you are so well learned in it. I don't know whether it's philosophy, whether it's spirituality, whether it's certain things going on in this world, politics, whatever it is, they better have the facts to back it up or else you're going to call them out if they're talking on something they don't really know about. But they, if that's not so much the case, overall cancer, they do find you to be a little bit intimidating. And this new person has already picked up on the fact that if this is anything that's going to waste your time, anything that's going to be dragged out or something that rubs you the wrong way, you will be honest and cut it for good. Already they're seeing that from you. What they like the most about this connection is the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They see promise in this. They see potential in this. For the first time in the dating life for a while, they see someone that they can commit themselves to, devote themselves to. They want to treat you, Cancer. When they take you out to dinner, they want to take you somewhere nice. They want to pay the bill. They do see you as someone that is to be taken seriously and is not going to waste time. They see that this can develop from the Ace of Pentacles into the Ten of Pentacles here. And that's why they're so excited about all this, because there's promise. There's potential. There's worth here that they're seeing from you already in just the small amount of time they've gotten to know you or even started dating you. 
They already envision what it would be like to be in a relationship with you, Cancer. And maybe even what they like about this is they recently asked you out on a date and you said yes. And they took some courage to build up to this. And that's what they're already telling everyone about. Where should I take them? What time should I pick them up? What reservation should I make? They're that excited. Someone could have bangs or just got bangs like side sweat bangs or whatever. But... What they don't like about this connection is the sun card. If this is the X energy, which we'll keep it brief, but because it wants it to be known, the X energy is upset that you've moved on to your own happiness without them, that you're happier without them, and that you've been doing even well since this separation, even better for yourself than where you were where you were with them. And that's hitting them pretty hard, Cancer. Now, if this is the new love, I mean, having the happiest card in the deck and what they don't like about the connection is very minor. But it could be that with all this excitement, maybe there's people around them saying, you still don't know them yet. This is still all very new. Don't get your hopes up. You know, you still have to get to know this person because, again, the way they're talking about you, it's as if they met their soulmate. It's as if they met their dream come true. And I think there is a person in their life around them that's just trying to get them to pump the brakes just a tiny bit. That there's still much more you guys have to develop. There's still so much more you guys have to grow. And maybe that friend or that family member around them is just trying to keep them protected. Maybe this is your family member or your family friend, cancer, or whatever it is. That is just trying to keep you guys both grounded, as excited as you may be. Now, I wonder with the sun card here, if there is a career opportunity that may take priority in someone's life, that may put relationships a little bit on the back burner. I'm just throwing that out there for someone that this could possibly be. But overall, with the sun card being what they don't like about the connection, they're hoping they're not over-hyping the connection between the two of you, over-exaggerating it, that they're not idealizing it, or that it's not too good to be true here. Highest hopes is the eight of wands. Fire energy, specifically Sagittarius energy. What I feel with this cancer, I wonder if you guys met online through a dating app, Bumble, Hinge, Tinder, Grinder. I don't know. That could be the case, and they're hoping that the messages you guys are exchanging keep going. That the text messages don't stop, don't halt, don't come to an end unexpectedly. But that this dating, this energy, these hangouts, these hookups, these dates just keep going. And if you do live at a distance from another, they're hoping they can set up a trip to come see you, to come visit you, and to hang out. They're hoping that this will go the distance. That the positive energy, the vibrance between the two of you will just carry out. And that anyone that may have been like, oh, okay, well, watch out. You still don't know this person. You have to take it slow. I mean, everyone will see to a point how much you click. And how much of a spark there is in this connection here. I do feel the main way of you guys, whether it's through career or just because someone may be busy, or even with the sun card, I wonder if uh, someone has night shifts and therefore they can't hang out as much during the day, which may cause a delay in you know you guys hanging out if one person does have a nine to five while the other works primarily at night. But that these trips and these dates will shoot into an awesome experience of you guys being in a connection. That you are the person that they were looking for. And they're hoping your next date, whatever you guys have set up, will go really, really well. Deepest Fears is the moon card. Pisces energy, 
cancer energy for me as a reader. So what I feel with this cancer is that anything that is in the dark comes to light that is something that may be a deal breaker. That maybe someone's getting too much in their head about a certain relationship. That maybe someone has been idealizing a certain person or a connection to where it won't meet their idealized expectations. But I do feel with whatever this moon card is kind of associating with this energy here. And maybe that's why Cancer, you've been a little bit on King of Swords mode, which they find to be a little bit difficult only because... I think they do get the sense that you are a person that is fun to be around, that is happy, that is adventurous, spontaneous. But when there are those times you get kind of silent or distant or just you don't want to show everything before you make absolutely sure, that's when the fears start to come in. Did I do something wrong? Did I mess up? Did I mess this whole opportunity up with cancer? And I think cancer, if this is your fear, it's, you know, what, when this happened in the past where I got so excited and things didn't turn out the way I thought, what are they hiding? There has to be something that isn't so great about this person. And I do feel that someone's fearing like everything that they imagine or envision this connection to already be based off all the good vibes they're getting. There's something else being hidden in the dark secrets, past experiences, past histories maybe. And for one weird reason, I'm picking up on someone with a very toxic mom. And that's not for everyone, obviously. But I wonder if someone's mom is a little bit nosy, a little bit toxic, a little bit overbearing, mean. And that may be an issue within the connection as things develop further down the line even. Maybe even the mom is the one telling someone with that sun card, oh, you know, don't get your hopes up. That's not everything, which is instilling fear. But overall, Cancer, this looks very exciting. But to see the likely outcome of the situation, what are they likely to do in the upcoming days, weeks? Are you guys going to go on more dates? Is it going to come to an end and a halting ghosting experience? What's going to happen? We're going to take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I'm going to pull one more card from this Romance Angels deck here. I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else you need to know, Cancer, before we wrap this reading up and go to the extended reading. That will give you further clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to this situation. Codependency. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's drawing me to this. And maybe that's the moon card too. But addictions are affecting your romantic life. So maybe there was some sort of addiction that came to an end. Um, or that was the reason why you two came to an end in the past. Maybe there's codependencies that you are really trying to break free from with the Nine of Pentacles that you don't want to dive deep into again. Maybe with the moon card, I just feel the fear of what led to an ending could happen very easily again. And that's when things get too codependently toxic with one another. And again, substance abuse for sure, alcohol or drugs, was an impact on someone's life and love and romance before. And maybe even no judgment here at all. But maybe there's someone listening to this that is struggling with addiction. And to, you know, come and be honest about someone's past and addictions that may have gone out of control, whether that is substance abuse or even abusive relationships that someone went through. It's scary to reveal that. And someone's afraid that if I were to reveal things from my past and what I've been through and the decisions I made and the people I decided to trust, would that affect anything if I were to fully be real and show it? All I got to say, Cancer, with that is that the right person will accept you for who you are. Someone is not going to accept your bad behaviors per se, but if you did have a rocky past and there was a lot that came from it, but you're working to heal it, you're working to move on, I don't think that is a game changer, Cancer, or should be a game changer. And if this is relating to this energy here, I think, 
you know, whoever took you for granted, they're still sobbing over you, crying over you, wishing they could have done anything different. And they're still trying to clearly desperately hold on to you. But I wouldn't let the past cancer, even if they try to come back and convince you elsewise, you already made your choice. And I think making your choice was the right one because it's welcoming in this beautiful energy that this person, whoever this codependent ex is, just needs to deal with on their own without you. And that's just being real and honest. Anyway, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. What are they going to do in the upcoming days, weeks? Is this going to turn out? We're going to go ahead and see. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But this is where we depart, Cancer. I really hope that this reading has resonated with you. I hope it's provided you with the clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to whatever you're going through in your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.